Billy Meyer claims he was in contact with an extraterrestrial woman, called, Askit, since 1953. She was closed to him for several years, mainly in the Middle East. He took pictures of her, during one of his trips aboard an extraterrestrial ship. But these photos were replaced by false ones, of two models, of an American TV show. By somebody interested in damaging Billy credibility. So, there is not convincing evidence of the existence of this E.T. woman. Or, there is. For Bullishawn, an ex-diplomat of the United Nations, claims she met Askit when she was a young girl. Therefore, she is a reliable witness of the existence of this wise woman from outer space. That she is like us. She is as solid as uh, in the body as you and me, but she is not from Earth. Fobol met Askit, in an ashram in India, when she was just a little girl. Pobol was living there, with her brother, for some time. Her grandfather was the director of this ashram, the Ashoka Ashram. When I was in India in 1964, I lived in the Ashoka Ashram outside of Morali with a monk named Dharmawara, from whom I also learned a great deal. It was then that the opportunity arose for the first time for me to photograph spaceships, that is to say, beam ships. And that is my grandfather when he was in his late 80s, and myself a year and a half before I left to come to United States to pursue my university studies. As I continued my university studies, I have forgotten all about that contact. It never stayed in a place in my mind where it is utilized. I went on finishing my uh, graduate work, went to uh, help my country, became a diplomat, was sent back to, um, to New York to represent my country at the United Nations work at it for 12 years. One day I was cleaning and came across the book again. So I thought before I threw it away I, I should look at it. I opened the page and saw the name Ashoka Ashram. So I was wondering how could our place be named in this book. As I browsed through it I saw the stories and immediately I thought I bet you it was the same Swiss person that had stayed at our place when I was a child. If he's the person that I knew. If he has a monkey, it's the same person. So Wendell wrote to him, and I think Wendell said within an hour, Billy wrote back. A few months later, I flew out. We sat and talked for three straight nights without sleep. It was almost like I felt I have returned home, and he felt he has returned home. This one here, here down is the, your grandfather's temple. Mm -hmm. Fobol was 10 or 11 years old when she saw Billy Meyer for the first time as a passing visitor in the ashram. Billy was in his 20s and he went in and out of this ashram a few times. Fobol did not talk with Billy at this time because she was a young girl and it was not accepted that she talked with the visitors of the ashram. On the other hand, her brother interacted with Billy and the pet monkey he was carrying with him. Uh, he was very, um, very quiet. He, he lived in our place for many, many months, I think more than six months on and off. And he had a couple of uh, uh, trips back and forth uh, to our place. The things that I noticed that uh, was very different uh, from other people was that he was very quiet, he was very observant. He um, walk around, he used to have a pet monkey, uh, walk around with a pet monkey uh, on his shoulder and he used to come and 
studied with my grandfather and also he I started to hear rumors from our gardeners and people who work at our, this place we have uh, about 20 or 25 workers working at various uh, uh, jobs and some of them work uh, at the youth hostel where he was staying and I began to hear rumors that he have friends uh, or he's following a spaceship and have friends that comes from another planet and that was uh, what uh, was strange about him. Fobol met Askit at the time Billy was there in the ashram. Askit visited her at night. Um, this lady would visit me in my bedroom would uh, communicate or exchange information with me and we would have always have this little uh, talks about so many things even now I cannot tell you exactly what we talk about but as I live my life once in a while I know that these are certain uh, information that she had imparted on me that I knew that it becomes a part of my life as I grew uh, grew up from childhood onwards um, she had visited me in my uh, room many times and one of those times she visited me again after um, exchange of um, uh, conversation through non-verbal uh, communication one time she sat on the head of my bed uh, put my head on her lap and stroked my hair and started to sing but not sing in the sense of having any uh, sound or anything but the, the, the sound that came out was uh, some kind of a, a very beautiful high note toning it was not a singing that I've ever experienced since or ever it's a very strange thing but I knew that it was uh, some kind of a, a, a singing to me and she stroked my hair, my hair as I was uh, laying on her, uh, my head was on her lap. And I knew that this is a real solid person that had come into my room, shared with me many information, and then just left or disappeared. To me, Asket is as real as uh, you and me. She is a human being, or she appeared to me uh, as a human being. But I know that she is uh, a human form or human that is not from here. This is I. This is what I get from the information that she had imparted to me. So, Fobol, as a young girl, had a very special friend from outer space. And no matter she did not talk with Billy at this time, she felt that Billy was her friend too, since she saw him walking and talking with her extraterrestrial friend. I was sitting uh, outside the uh, window of my uh, room, uh, looking uh, outside, you know, seeing people passing back and forth in the Ashoka Ashram compound. And, as, and then I turned towards my right on the path um, directly in front of the Ashoka Ashram. I saw two people walking slowly on the path towards the uh, youth hostel that's where Billy was staying and the two person was Billy Meyer and uh, on his side was this woman that later on I came to have to know that it was uh, Asket from uh, the Dal universe they were talking very intensely and she was um, when she was talking to Billy I took note and at the same time she turned and we kind of linked eyes or met our eyes met and we knew instantly that uh, Billy was not aware that I have noticed that they were walking and but she had known this fact somehow this is it came to me but they were walking on a path from the uh, well towards the youth hostel talking very intensely from that uh, appearance I knew then that they were friends as I was friends of the lady so from that uh, meeting I concluded that he is also a friend of mine or he could be a friend of mine after being in the same company of the lady and I think also 
the head gardener once in a while mentioned something about uh, Billy uh, saying, oh, you know, that uh, he's walking with, and he said, oh, uh, I, he said to me, this is uh, our gardener saying, oh, that guy saying again that he's with some goddess. <laughs> Because to Indians that is, you know, some God is coming from uh, from mm. heaven. <laughs> so, right? so that's what I remember that he, mm. the, the gardener would say that. But he was the only one that saw them walking around um, together because I had told my Aya about this fact and she couldn't see anything. And many people was walking around also near, near them on the path, but they did not see Asket. They just saw him walking slowly around and as he was talking to himself. So these are facts. I know that there are people that have seen them and there are people that didn't see them who happens to be there at the same place. At this time, in the Ashoka Ashram, Askit had dark hair. However, years later, when Billy met again his extraterrestrial friend, aboard an extraterrestrial spaceship, and he took some pictures of her. For any reason, she had blonde hair. Pobol talks about the pictures of Faskit that were replaced by false ones. When I visited Billy for the first time, when we shared the, the information about my experience with Asket and his uh, um, uh, meeting Asket at the Ashoka, and then he showed me a photo of Asket. And I was very surprised. I told Billy, well, Billy, this is not the Asket that I met, because the Asket that I met had long black, uh, for me, a dark hair. It's not even black. It's like a dark brown hair, but definitely not this uh, white blonde hair. And so, but the face is similar to the Asket. It could be passed as Asket, but the face is very close, closely resembling, except for certain um, bone structure which is not like that but the hair definitely is not blonde I told Billy that and he laughed and said yeah that is true you are the only one that saw Asket at the time in India uh, because this is a later picture of Asket when she went back to her Dal universe she, they use uh, some kind of a herbal concoction on the hair for he said at the time she had some ailment headaches or something through all this traveling and uh, she used a herbal concoction that eventually turned her hair blonde for this uh, ailment. So this is what he told me. So that could explain why she is now blonde hair. But at the time I remember, she would see it once a week or sometimes twice a week, ship over the Ashoka Ashram. But from an angle behind the Ashoka Ashram, there's a little hill and we used to call it the Dock Hill. This was taken on uh, May 24, 1964. This was taken just on the side towards the east of the ashram. Sometimes I would see more than two, there would be a whole bunch of them. Taken from monuments in that area, it's called the Qutub Minar. This is an old Indian uh, historical monument. Very interesting and also important to me, a whole bunch of them, but this is one of my ayah washing my clothes, sitting on the veranda outside <laughs> my room. When I had my experience, I have seen a lot of ships over the trees, near the well, on the dog house. Sometimes it was very low. I could see a huge half of this room size of the ship. So when I had experiences with Asket, it was also not something very unusual or strange for me. It was almost a return to some a familiar state. Sometimes there would be a few uh, villagers walking around and they would look up and see this. In the ashram itself, sometimes our servant would come and said, I saw something very strange. Have you seen? I would say yes, and that was the end of it. <laughs> this is right on top of the ashram in the evening. Sometimes there would be people looking up with me, looking up and some of them would see the ship very clearly like myself, but some would look at them and say, I don't see it. This is one of the uh, phenomena where hundreds of people saw this. Even was written in the Indian newspaper in the 60s. Actually, one reporter was dispatched from the newspaper, I think the, the New Statesman or something. He came, talked to uh, the villagers, talked to people who work at our place, and uh, 
and even talked to Billy and was shown the photos. Did your grandfather ever talk to her? As far as I know, uh, I don't think so. Any other extra to Billy? Yes, he had told me that uh, he talked to two beings that came to discuss uh, spiritual matters with him, especially they expressed so much gratitude to him for teaching certain kind of meditation. And also at one point I walked uh, into the room where he was with two beings who I did not realize was some, somebody from another, you know, another world, but they, they were not there anymore when I looked again. So later on I, I realized that they were. Anything you would like to add? Well, I would like to say that now that we have um, many decades later, Billy and I met again. I went to Switzerland and saw him. And uh, after that, I returned to see him and introduced my husband to Billy. Um, I still find Billy almost, uh, you know, the same in the sense that he still have these very nice penetrating eyes, the eyes that would look at you, and of course, you will feel that you. This is the eye that you cannot lie to. You look at the eye and you feel you have to tell the truth. It's uh, it's almost somebody who who have a soul and from that soul look to your soul, and this is what I feel.